everyone and welcome to our channel. I have another Primark haul for you today but with a little bit of a twist because when I was in Primark I noticed that they had tons of designer inspired dupes and I thought that I would base this video around some of the designer inspired dupes that I found. Um, I was in Primark just the other day so a lot of these things are going to still be in stock and some of them are even on sale so we will get right into it. I have a lot of shoes and boots for you. Um, so I'm going to start with some shoes. The first pair of shoes that I found were these, which are of course inspired by the Valentino Rock Stud sandals. They also have these in um, some quite Christmassy, sparkly colours at the moment. And they have them um, in just the court shoe as well. And these are, let me see, £14. The actual Valentina Rockstud sandals that these are based on retail for £650. They are pretty good quality and they do look pretty much identical. I can't speak for how comfortable they are because I haven't worn them yet, but they look really pretty. They're going to be really nice for the festive season. The next pair that I've got to show you are very Gucci inspired. They are these, which are very, very similar to the Gucci loafers. Now, um, Gucci do actually sell the loafers in a very similar print to this, like the, the purple. And when I saw them, I thought they were so pretty. But even better, they were on sale and they were supposed to be £8, which is still really really good um, and they were reduced in the sale to three pound so i had to pick them up i mean i'm not going to be wearing them anytime soon because it's like november um but i will definitely be wearing them next spring summer and um yeah three pounds i mean they're probably not the greatest quality and they might not last you season upon season but for something that is um so designer inspired three pound you can't go wrong the next pair of shoes that I've got are again Gucci inspired and it is these fur lined slip on loafers. Now, I believe that these are actually called, um, well not these, the actual Gucci loafers are called the Princetown slippers and these again were on sale and these were £10 reduced to £5 and the actual Gucci ones I believe are £650. I mean, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be spending £650 on a pair of furry loafers. Maybe that's just me. While I was having a wander around the shoe section, I also came across these, which again, I thought were very Gucci inspired. And they're these um, slip on, like um, trainer kind of things um, with the floral embroidery. And you can see they've got like um, some little bugs on. There's a little bee and a butterfly and the pink embroidered flowers and I thought they were very Gucci inspired as well and uh, that's what attracted me to them and then I saw the £5 price tag. Now these, this is full price, £5 full price and I know that these are the kind of things that I will wear in the like spring summer time with a pair of jeans so you just slip them on and wear them on an everyday basis and again they're probably not going to last forever but they'll probably last one season and for five pound could you really expect any more than that i'm going to take a break from the shoes and boots for a couple of minutes just to show you a bag that i found as well now i know that we do have a lot of um, people who watch our channel who enjoy disney and universal because um that's where we vlog a lot um and i saw this bag and when i saw it it reminded me of a Kate Spade bag and it is this mini backpack. Now this is £7 and you'll find it in the kids department. Um, don't look in the um, women's, it's in the kids department. Um, £7 for this little mini bag and this is a dead ringer for a Kate Spade bag. And the Kate Spade bag I believe is £295. And this is seven pounds. I mean, 
£295 for a little mini mouse bag. When you can get one for seven, that is fairly identical. Um, as with everything, I'll, I'll put pictures of the, the items that these um, designer inspired dupes are based on so you can have a look and compare. But this is super cute. Um, it is fairly small and it's not going to hold a great deal, but if you're looking for a cute mini bag and you don't want to spend £295, here it is. Um, I've also got another one to show you because there is one in the women's department as well, which is quite similar. So I'll show you that too. And it is this little backpack with the ears on and it has the little Mickey danglies on and it is a full on backpack. Um, and this is bigger, this is a, a little bit bigger so you've got to fit more in this and it's still very Disney. Um, so yeah, you can have a look, see which one you prefer. Um, obviously the other one is a lot more comparable with the Kate Spade version, but this one's probably a little bit more practical and will hold more stuff when you're going into the parks for the day. So a couple of really good finds there in Primark from um, Disney. Let's move on to boots. Um, I'm not going to lie, I love a pair of boots. And in the winter, I mean, I'm saying winter, probably like September through to May, I live in boots. So I like to have lots of pairs. Um, I saw these and they are so reminiscent of the um, Chloe Susanna boots. So I picked up this pair in red. Now I went to try them on and sometimes when I try boots on in Primark, I feel like they're going to be really uncomfortable. They don't feel very soft. They're really stiff. And um, and I don't I end up not buying them because I feel like they're not going to be very comfortable. And you know life's too short to walk around in a pair of really uncomfortable shoes all day, in my opinion. Um, so I tried these on, and they actually really surprised me because the the fabric, although it's not leather, it's very very soft. And I mean they're so cute. Look at that. I mean they're practically identical to the Chloe Susanna boots. Um, again, I'll pop in a picture so you can have a look. I mean, they are so similar. And these were £16. The Chloe Susanna boots, I believe, are £650. £650. £16. Same look, fraction of the price. So I saw them and I bought those one day. And then I went back a few days later and I was having a bit of a rummage and then i found these now these as you can see are the exact same boots but these are in like a suede ish material obviously not suede um suede effect and these were half price so they were originally 16 and now they're eight pound for some reason people must not be buying the gray so they have reduced them to eight pounds I mean, they're so nice. And again, they're dead comfortable as well. I haven't worn them, I tried them on and they felt really comfortable. So I'm gonna start wearing these. I mean, eight pound, I was so pleased. You can tell, I was so pleased. Eight pounds for a cute pair of boots. So I know I'm gonna be getting a ton of wear out of these boots over the like autumn, winter, spring, probably summer, I live in England. The next thing I spotted, I recognised straight away as a dupe for the Balenciaga sock sneakers, sock trainers, whatever you want to call them, and they were these. I mean, like, not gonna lie, they're a little bit ugly, but you know, they're light as a feather, they're gonna be super comfortable, they're really, really soft. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna try these and see what they're like. And they are really, really light and comfortable. Um, these were £14. And the actual Balenciaga boots on which these are based are around £450, £500 mark. I mean, £450, £500 is definitely not a price that I'd pay for a pair of boots like this. Um, so yeah, £14. Staying with the kind of sock boot trend, I also spotted these, which I think have just come in store. 
and I love them. They also do these in burgundy and I think a navy blue as well, but they did not have many left in the Primark that I went into. I think they're gonna sell out really quickly, so if you see them, I'll grab them. And these are a pair of heeled boots and they're kind of um, knitted, I would say. Um, so kind of like a, a sock boot. I mean, you probably don't wanna wear them in the rain, but you know, they're really nice pair of boots for just kind of going out in and um, when it isn't raining definitely not when it's snowing um, and they have this like piping around the top and these are very very similar to some um, boots that Givenchy are doing this season and again like I'll insert a picture so you can have a look um, but they are very much inspired by um, Givenchy boots and they're so nice I mean these were probably on the kind of expensive side for Primark, they were 20 quid. I mean, 20 quid is it's not expensive, but um, I mean, for Primark, it's up there. They don't usually charge that much for their boots and shoes, but I absolutely love these. And I think they are gonna be coming out quite a lot over the next couple of months. As I said earlier, I do really love a pair of boots um, and I do have a couple more pairs to show you, although I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping both of them because they are quite similar. When I saw these, they reminded me a lot of um, a pair of Balenciaga boots. They are, I'll see if I can just hold one up. They're always like tied together, annoying. Um, and they have like a, actually I'll use this one because the other one's got more bits hanging off. They have like a open foot like that. So you can kind of see your foot when you put it inside. Um, but they have a great sole, wonderful thick sole. So they're gonna be pretty good um, if the weather's not that great. Obviously apart from the fact that they've got holes in them, which is why I might keep the other pair instead. Um, I think the boots, I've got, I've got it in front of me. Um, they are similar to the Balenciaga Sensua cut out ankle boots. So yeah, you can see where the inspirations come from when you look at the, the picture that I'll insert. Um, but they are really nice and they're very hard wearing. So I think these will probably last for a reasonable amount of time. And these were 16 pounds. But I'll show you the other pair because I'm not really sure which pair that I should keep. And the other pair, kind of similar, similar feel, like quite a heavy sole boot with some buckles and stud detailing um, in a similar vein, but these don't have the cutout, so they're probably gonna be a little bit more serviceable for the winter months. So I don't know. Let me know below which pair you think I should keep and which I should take back. I would like some advice on that. There you go. So that's the last pair of boots I got. Now I did also pick up a couple of bags and I do have a bag that isn't from Primark that I'll show you at the end as well and that I just bought this week. But um, the bags that I got, first of all I saw this one and I thought this again had, actually it's kind of a little bit Chloe-ish, a little bit Gucci-ish. Um, with the, the ring on the front, but it has the like bug detail, which is quite um, quite Gucci. And inside, it's a fair amount of room in there. You could definitely take it out if you just go into the shops for the day. Um, and you could take it out on an evening as well. Um, so it's got the like gold hardware and the black for leather and quite a long strap so you could wear it cross body or on your shoulder because it is adjustable. So I got this and this was £7 which I thought was fantastic value. I mean it's a, it's a decent size bag, decent quality for £7. And the other bag that I got it's not really a bag that was like inspired by any kind of designer bag that I'd seen, but I saw it a couple of times and I, I didn't actually buy it, but I thought it would be a nice work bag. 
and then I went back um, after looking at it a few times and there was only one left and then I started to like feel a bit of panic that I would want it and it would have been gone so I bought it and um, again it's probably a little bit up there with Primark bags it was £12 which again is like a little bit higher than Primark bags normally are they're not usually over £10 but it seemed like it was quite good quality and it's quite a big bag and this is it oh it doesn't even fit in frame let's go back a bit <laughs> um so this is it and it's it actually reminds me quite a lot of um, the, is it the Zara City bag, I think, which is quite similar to this. It's quite like a, a work bag. It's really big, tons of room in there. You can fit like a small laptop, all of your like work stuff in there. Um, sometimes with work, I do have to like go out and about and, and fit a laptop in. Um, so I think that would be good for carrying that around and bits of paperwork and obviously you yeah, purse, makeup bag, phone, etc. It's got this little zip at the front too. Um, and like I say, this was £12. So I think that's a really nice one. It's got a, a shoulder strap as well as the handles to carry it with. So I'm looking forward to using that. I think I'm going to use that for work tomorrow. Before I move on to the last bag I was telling you about, um, I think I've just got a couple of like beauty type items, which I'll talk about first. Primark are now doing a range that is very much inspired by Jo Malone. The perfumes, candles, etc. So I picked up a couple of things from that range to show you as well. And um, the first items that I got were the hand wash. This is the vitamin E hand wash. You can see that the packaging is very, very similar to the Jo Malone packaging. Um, the black and white um, and even the scents are very similar. This is a hand wash and it is basil and mandarin, oh sorry, mandarin and basil. And this is the pomegranate and black tea. Um, it, both flavours, flavours? Are they called flavours? Scents? Both scents that um, Jo Malone does pretty much like almost exactly. Um, and I also picked up the small perfume. I don't know if you could be able to see that. There we go. I also picked up the small bottles of um, perfume eau de parfum in both of those scents just because I didn't want to buy the big one and not like them. So they come in a little um, atomizer. Is that what it's called? Like this? Let's give it a try. This is the Mandarin in Basil. Oh, it's quite nice. Um, I have had the Jo Malone is it called it does have mandarin and basil in the title but i think there's another thing as well um and i do have that or i have had that before um it is very similar and this is the jasmine and honey we'll try that on the other arm oh i like that i think that one's a bit nicer than that one actually so yeah, oh well, let me tell you the prices. The little perfumes are £3 and the hand wash is £4. So I'm going to put one of those in our bathroom. So the last thing that I'm going to show you, it's not an item that I bought in Primark. I've been looking everywhere for a red bag, which you'd think at this time of year would be the easiest thing to find. It isn't the easiest thing to find. I literally went everywhere. I was online, I was in all the stores and I could not find a red bag that I liked. And then by chance, I walked into Zara a couple of days ago and I found this. There we go. And this was exactly what I was looking for. And it had a little tag on that said special price and it was only £19.99. And I wanted a red bag with gold hardware, which this has. It has like the gold ring here, and then it has a little strap with the gold, um, what's that again, like a gold ring. And then it has like a half chain, and then the um, leather, it's, I don't think it's real leather, um, strap on it, so it's going to be more comfortable for carrying. And then as I was on my way home, I thought, Oh, it's quite open that and I do get a little bit concerned if I've got like an open bag that things are going to get pinched out of it. 
So um, I was thinking about, well, I have to put like a pouch in so that people can't put their hand in and steal my purse. And then when I got home, I realized that it actually has a little pouch inside of the bag. Oh, very stiff. So it has this like fabric pouch inside. So you put your stuff in, you can pull it shut, pop it in, and then no one's going to be able to steal your purse out of it. How ingenious is that? So there you go, my Zara bag for £20. So I love that. So that's it, that's everything I've got to show you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, something like maybe a little bit different from the usual Primark hauls that we do on our channel. Um, I will link what I can below if I can find bits and pieces. Obviously Primark, you can't buy the stuff online so I can't link the actual items, but I can link the items that they're inspired by below to just compare like for like. Do let me know if you find any designer inspired items either in Primark or anywhere else because we always like to get a bargain, um, especially if we're saving a few hundred pound on something that looks exactly like a designer item but really isn't. Um, and keep watching because every Sunday we'll have brand new vlogs of a recent trip and you can also check out um, Amy's videos. She lives in Orlando now. She recently did a haul, which I will put in a card, um, and it's some chop shop items and again, some like designer inspired items as well. So go and have a look at her video and say hi to her. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.